Jeremy Weiss here. We're live from the Sweet and Snack Show. I'm here with Don and Gary, Mount Franklin Foods. And um, Gary, just talk a little about the background of Mount Franklin Foods. Where are you guys located? Our headquarters is in El Paso, Texas. We manufacture nuts and trail mixes in that facility, uh, which is attached to our corporate office. Uh, we also have three confections plants in Mexico and a functional gummy plant in South Carolina. So talk a little bit of the background about the company. The, uh, the nut business has been around for 100 years. Wow. Uh, the current ownership's had it for, I think, about 30. Um, the candy uh, initiative started in 2000, so less than 20 years. Mm. And uh, we are a large general line confections manufacturer. So how did you get started in this business? Uh, after working in a bank for about four years out of college, I got in the food industry in a uh, co company that made candy, among other things. And I've been in it since then, mostly in confections. Okay. And so your favorite product, top product that you like? Well, of course, it has to be something that we make. Yeah, Softer yeah, than brittle. Of course. So <laughs> I like a lot of different candies. Um, but... Some of the things we do, which we're trying to be more healthy with, yeah, um, I feel good about eating. Some, sometimes you can get a little bit too much sugar if you if you eat a whole bag like I like to do. Yeah. So some of the things that we want to show you today. Yeah, I mean, nuts and everything are healthy. Nuts are healthy. Protein yeah. is really big. Totally. And uh, so all the nuts that we make are considered pretty healthy. Yeah. yeah. So Dawn, talk about some of the products. What do you have here? So um, besides the softer than brittle that Gary had, we have the Sweet Valley Organics, which is our line of dark chocolate organic nuts and fruits. Yeah. So there's six items in the line, um, three different nut type items, um, a cherry, a banana, and the newest is our chocolate covered espresso bean. So if you need that little extra caffeine kick, we got it for so you. Is that what this is? This is, cinnamon, no, this is praline. cinnamon praline pecan. So oh. it's a praline pecan um, dusted in cinnamon and then coated in organic dark chocolate. All fair trade, um, all non-GMO, so great health product. And the other one? What's that? The other one is our newest line that we're going to be introducing called It's Nature. It's our line of beans and seeds that are seasoned and spiced differently. Mm. Um, high in protein, um, high in um, fiber, so really kind of better for you and it's a great yeah. way to snack and enjoy with not so many calories. What are some of the seed ones with seasonings? That so we're doing praline pepitas. So we, are, um, we have um, chickpeas that are Thai flavored chickpeas, spicy chickpeas. And we have a sweet and spicy mix that's praline pepitas, um, black beans, some um, chickpeas, and some edamame in there as well. That's all seasoned as a mix. So tell me, I don't know if you know this, but the most popular candy uh, that you have, what's the most popular ones that people like and the most popular nut in the nut category? What, what's the most popular products? So within the candy, it's in our Sunrise um, line, yeah. and it's definitely gummy worms and gummy, gummy bears worms, yeah. are always the best. Um, our fruit slices are also really well known, and that's one of the things that consumers really like. Um, on the nut side of it, I would say that our, our dark chocolate coated almonds mm. within the um, Sweet Valley Organic line is probably the most popular. Got it. Uh, Gary, where can people get your product? Where can they find it? Virtually all over the country where we sell uh, even some product in Canada and Mexico, but the, but the, the, the largest amount is in the United States. Grocery stores, grocery store. dollar stores, uh, mass merchandisers, convenience stores, pretty much every channel out there. Yeah. And you guys are, since you're a hundred year old company, mm -hmm. what is the stuff you're thinking about and working on like on a day to day basis? One of the growth opportunities that I mentioned earlier is the uh, functional gummy area where people are putting things that are good for you in a gummy product. Yeah. So it's kind of fun to typically a dose is two gummies. Um, so we've, that's what we're doing in the South Carolina plant. It's a, it's a very rapidly growing category. It's a great delivery mechanism. And we see that as a big opportunity for growth in our company. Yeah. Um, as some of the healthier things that Don mentioned that we're making, uh, including the nut products, which many are, are considered very healthy. Yeah. Don, talk about, you know, what's interesting is you are coming out with a lot of different types of products. What's the process that you decide to, because you can come out with an infinite number and type and season. What's your process for deciding, okay, we're going to go with this one? So 
it starts with internal. I mean, the internal yeah. groups who come and brainstorm and think of the ideas and a lot of work with our customers and our sales team. But then it's talking to the consumers. It's yeah. taking those concepts to consumers, testing them, seeing what they um, like, what they don't like, how to yeah. kind of change them a little bit. We also have a big food service division under Mount Franklin Foods with the Azar Nut Company. And a lot of things that work well in our food service division are the value added nuts and seasonings that we can then put on our products. So if we know it worked well in a restaurant yeah. environment or with a chef, we know we can bring it into our line. So that's where some of the things for the It's Nature were inspired. Yeah, I'm curious if either of you have an, uh, an answer to this, but um, I'm curious from a consumer, when you're talking to the consumer, internally, if there's a case where you thought this is a great idea, this is gonna be the next best selling product, and then you brought it to the consumer, and they just did not like it, and so you just decided not to move forward with it. We're Are those perfect, so the answer is absolutely not. 100% of the time. Because <laughs> it's interesting, because you listen to your customer, and you'll probably cut some things and not go with it because, and maybe on the flip side, you're like, oh, this could be a good product, and the consumer just loved it. Are any of those cases um, that you can remember where you brought it to the consumer, and maybe it was a little bit unexpected feedback? When you talk to consumers, there's always that feedback that surprises you. Yeah, I can't think of one here at this company in my career. I can think of plenty, but like I can't. What? What's, what's something the consumer surprised you? Um, a, a long time ago in a previous career, I had an item that was based on a s'mores, and we tried to do it in a single piece. Did not execute as well as putting a cracker and marshmallow and chocolate together. So, um, But here we've had a lot of the consumers who've you know, they may comment about different seasoning or different levels of flavor or different levels of sour, but it's usually that we're pretty close on. Pretty close on, okay. And so I want to talk about a proud moment, a proud milestone in the company. Maybe it's a product, maybe it's with the company, maybe it's with an outside initiative. What's been a proud uh, moment for, for each of you? I would say it. At Mount Franklin, it's been the, the turnaround that we did with this company. When I joined seven years ago, things were not going as smoothly as we would have liked. But through a combination of bringing in great people, uh, expanding our capacity, becoming more aggressive with our pricing, and improving our quality, the company pr pretty much from the beginning started making a profit, and we're doing very well now. Awesome. Yeah. Don, what about for you? What's been a proud moment? It's, it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've been with the company only six months, and it's been a lot of fun working. You seem like 20-year veteran. Of the candy industry, but not Oh, okay. Now. <laughs> so I've, I've really enjoyed working with everyone here and seeing the, the passion and the enthusiasm yeah. that everyone at Mount Franklin has for the products we produce every day yeah. has been very refreshing. Yeah. Well, what I have seen that's kind of cool is you guys do some outside initiatives with other places around Chicago. Like there's one you sponsored uh, like a bunch of people to come to the show. We, well, we have, some, we have some kids that are here today that are visiting the show and we've had a lot of um, people come by and, and see the yeah. show and walk the show and be part of our team. Totally. So where should people go online to check you out, check out the company? Obviously you can go in grocery stores and facilities all across the country. Where should they go online? Right now, um, they can check out any of our social media channels, so Softer Than Brittle, um, Sweet Valley Organics, and Sunrise Confections, all on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They can see a lot of what we're doing um, and kind of follow us along through the show. And then we're in the process of, our website is currently under construction, but soon it will be there at mountfranklin.com. Okay, cool. Mountfranklinfoods.com, sorry. Okay. Everyone check out mountfranklinfoods.com. Please do. And thank you.